Good morning, everyone. So today we are reading a book called Which Shoes to Choose. And this is a fun, silly rhyming book. I want you to try and figure out what the rhyming words are as I read the pages, okay? Which shoes to choose? My feet have got so very big, I can't fit in my shoes. We're shopping now to buy some more, but which ones should I choose? Shoes and choose. I like the black ones I tried first. They have a lovely shine. I see myself when I look down. Perhaps they will be mine. The trouble is I also like the green ones I tried too. But then the purple ones are neat. And what about the blue? This is like me when I go shoe shopping. The pink pair look so beautiful and make a clicking sound. But when I put these red ones on, they make me dance around. Or should I choose the yellow pair, so pretty and so bright? The white pair also would be good, and they'd show up at night. These brown ones have small bells on them, so that's a lot of fun. They jingle softly when I walk and jangle when I run. There's so many choices. Some shoes have laces on the top and some have pretty bows. And here's a pair which some have holes. So I can see my toes. These blue ones here have buckles on. The pink ones have a snap. The pretty ones in red and white, they do up with a strap. Like some sandals. So black or white or pink or red or purple, green or brown, what color will my next shoes be for my next trip to town? Hmm, thinking about it. What do you think he'll choose? With laces, buckles, bows, or straps, oh, what a choice I've got. I wish I were a centipede, then I could choose a lot. Imagine if you had all of those feet. And we're tired from all that shopping. So today would be a really great day to practice tying your shoes or practice buckles, straps, zippers, all those fun little things that you can do with shoes or clothes to help you get better at all of those things. All right. Bye.